Hello, my name is Jeremy Johnstone, and I'm going to show you a cool new way to use Yahoo Web Messenger with an app called Fluid. Fluid allows you to create what's called site-specific browsers, which is a fancy desktop app wrapper around a normal web page. So, first things first, we need to fire off Fluid. If you haven't already installed it yet, read my blog for more instructions on how to find and download it. Now that we have Fluid running, we need to type in a URL that it should load when our application first starts. In this case, webmessenger.yahoo.com. We also need to type in a name for application, which I'm going to use yahooweb.im, but you're free to name it as you wish. Next, we need to select an application doc icon. If you followed along on my blog post, you downloaded an image which happens to be the same doc icon for the normal Mac Messenger. I'm going to select that here and then create, click create to create my new application. Now that it is created, we can click Launch to go ahead and launch the application. As you can see here, we get what more or less looks like the normal Web Messenger visual appearance, just without all the normal browser chrome in the way. Next, we need to create the user script which will add the extra functionality to our app which makes it useful. I'm going to name the script web.im for convenience, but it really could be named anything. Now that our script editor is open, I'm going to paste in the code which you can find on my blog, and then save it and close out of the script editor. As you can see in the 69 some odd lines of code, most of which is comments anyway, we really didn't need to write much to add the new functionality. Now that the code is saved, we will close out of our app. I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but for simplicity I'm going to restart the app to make sure that all the code got loaded properly. With the app now reopened, we can see our user script in the menu and also see that it is enabled. Next, we will log in. As you can see, still the default web messenger we have all come to love. From my other computer, I will send an IM. As you can see, nothing different. IM is received like normal. Now for the cool stuff, let's put web.im into the background and start working on something else. From my other computer, I sent an IM again, and we can now see that we got a growl alert this time, giving us who sent the IM as well as what they said. Also notice the doc icon now has a number one in red, indicating we have one unread message. Sending another message, we now see the doc icon increments to two. Clicking back into web.im, we can see the count clears and we can respond to messages just like normal. And that concludes this short video demo. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know how this works for you. Be sure and create your own SSBs with Fluid too. Also, please watch for more upcoming posts on how to create similar experiences with Yahoo Mail in the near future.